everyone I've got a, a bit of a haul and a few dolly updates to share with you today so the first thing I've got is this girl she is style stars jade I paid five pounds for her from eBay and she did come without her wig but she is in her entire outfit including fabulous shoes look at those shoes <laughs> She's got her belt, she's got a necklace. I'm not sure if that is the correct necklace, but anyway. She's got gold glittery lips, she's got a star on her cheek there. And she's got these spikes on her shoulders, they're fabulous, look at those. <laughs> she did come without a wig, but what I have is a live wig with the nub cut out. And I'm just going to pop that on her because that is very similar to one of the wigs that she wears. She should have like a... A mint green one with spa little space buns and then she's got this white one and I thought that one this one is almost a perfect match for the for that wig so that's what she's going to have yeah five pounds really delighted with that then I got a few dolls from the car boot so I got now I think she's my scene Barbie but she's look at her she's absolutely filthy bless her she needs a really good clean she needs a hair doing and she needs redressing and the dress she's in is really pretty and I believe it's a Barbie dress it does have a Barbie tag in it the dress does but the dress is is filthy it needs a really good clean so she's going to get cleaned up and get her hair done and she's going to get dressed in a more fitting outfit for a Mycene girl. That was her. I got three dolls for 250. She was one of the dolls. The second doll I got was this one. She's got a pretty face and she's got that really fine fluffy hair, but she's got a fully articulated body and I really like her outfit. I like her top and I like her pleather trousers. She was the second one of the three for 250 and then the third one was magic of pegasus prince aiden um he needs a bit of a hairdo but he's got most of his outfit he's missing his crown and he's missing his belt but i think he can get away without his belt no problem he needs a clean and a tidy up and other than that he'll be fine i actually bought him because he's fully articulated but i don't know whether i can i haven't got a prince aiden so i don't know if i can bring myself to behead him that is yet to be decided so those were the three dolls for 250 those three there then another ebay doll i got was this one she is the 2002 holiday barbie the collect well i don't know if she's a holiday barbie but she's 2002 collector's edition barbie and she has a 2002 necklace on can you see that she's absolutely gorgeous she's got her little earrings in she's got that lovely fluffy stole on and she's got her gloves and the bottom of her skirt also has little feathers on it and this glittery piece here is is also underneath there and she's got on some little pink shoes i'm just going to slip the slip the lid off to show you because i have had the lid off but i'm not going to actually unbox her fully because she's just too too beautiful i don't want to to ruin her but i do want to give her the odd poke uh, so there she is she's got a 2002 necklace on which is tarnishing a little bit but it but it's all right her dress is all like glittery it's like silky with glittery net over it she's got her gloves that come i actually don't know where that fluff's attached to the gloves you know oh no it isn't you can see the top of the glove there she's got on really cute little pink shoes there i like those they match her dress perfectly yeah she's absolutely beautiful have a look at that face a bit better now i've not got the glare of the box she really is pretty isn't she i paid 25 pounds for her i've been watching her for a while and she was a little bit out of my price range and then she was reduced so i snapped her up so the next thing I have is some outfits, some Ken doll outfits. I paid, I think, £3.50 for these outfits. And they're these, they're the ones from China. And they need the Velcro sewing on properly. But other than that, so we've got like a shirt and 
shorts or I don't know if it's pyjamas it might be pyjamas I suppose you could wear it as either couldn't you and I suppose you could mix and match again they just need the velcro sewing on or gluing on properly then we've got these pleather <laughs> pleather like trousers I like those again they need the velcro gluing on properly but other than that you can see that the velcro is not I don't know why they do that but they do this t-shirt, I really like that shirt actually. It was worth three quid on its own, I thought. And then this pair of shorts, they're a bit longer. You know, they need the threads cutting off and they need tidying up a bit, but for three pounds, honestly, I thought it was a really good deal. Then we've got this shirt. I think that says love on it. Stripy shirt with love on it. Short sleeves, Velcro's up the back. Another pair of those shorts and then a plain blue shirt with that one. They just want a little bit of tweaking these clothes do. And then these white shorts, you can see that the sewing's a bit, but for three pounds, honestly, a little bit of work and they're gonna be perfect. And it's not gonna take a lot of work to sort them out, it really isn't. And then this very loud shirt, which, yeah, so, so you can mix and match all of those outfits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Ken dolls out and try them on and we'll have a bit of a fashion show in a minute. And then the final doll I've got is Yoko. Now I do already have a Shibajuku Yoko but she was £10 from Home Bargains and my plan is to try putting a Barbie fashionista's head on her body because she's the same size body wise as a Barbie and she's fully articulated and I love her clothes so I thought I might just give it a try and see how it goes so I'll be back in a minute to show you how I got on with that. Okay so my head swapping and doll clothes trying on is, has gone very well so we'll start with the with the Ken fashions. Here I've got a Ken head on a Hunter Huntsman body from Ever After High and they fit in perfectly they really do the shorts fit in really well and the, the jacket does as well they fit in really well really pleased with that then i've tried this outfit on a brats boy and they fit in all right they are loose around the waist but the tightness of the top holds that holds them on they're fine you know if you're short of clothes for your boy dolls for three pounds for these 10 items i don't think you can go wrong I really don't. I think that for that price, well worth the money. So that's him. That's Cade. Then we've got Owen. He's a moxie boy. He's wearing the, well, I think the pyjamas. But I suppose if you paired the, the shirt with a, with a pair of plain shorts and the shorts with a different top, you know, they wouldn't have to be pyjamas. But I'm, I'm saying there is pyjamas. They're a little bit loose, but nothing you can't get away with. Yeah, quite quite good, I think. So that was the Moxie boy. Then I've got a Mycene boy. He's got the love top on and the shorts on, and they fit him perfectly. They really do. You know, there's no, they're not too loose or too tight around his waist. The shirt's a nice fit on him. Yeah, I think you know you can they fit a wide range of dolls not just the ken dolls and then finally on the ken doll we've got my favorite shirt i love that shirt and we've got the pleather trousers and i put the pleather trousers on him because of the length the only thing i would say is that they are a little bit short i suppose if you made them low rise you know they'd be better that's the the only thing i, I can say is that they are a tiny bit short other than that I think those outfits on these different dolls are just ideal and for three pounds honestly fantastic so the next thing was the swapping the my fashion Easter this is lavender kiss and I've swapped her onto the Shibajiku's body and it looks fantastic I'm so happy with that it really does fit her really well it's surprising how 
small the Shibajuku bodies are and I found out because I had to dress a Shibajuku doll that I had I got her in the nude and I dressed her in a Barbie dress and it fitted her so I thought ah let's try swapping heads so that's what I've done and now what I'm going to do is try the fashionista's clothes on her now that she's on the Shibajuku body I do love these clothes from the doll though okay that is loose on her but she is a curvy and I think this body would probably suit a petite better I might try a petite outfit on her those shoes as well are too they're too big they're just dropping off her feet so that is a slight drawback but she can wear the Shibajuku shoes which were um, with the outfit and they are plain black so I'm not too worried about that so now I'm gonna try her in a petite outfit yes that petite dress does fit a lot better so what I might do is find a petite with the right skin tone this was the one I thought was the nearest match so far it does match pretty well as you can see but I might try and swap it for a petite head instead because the petite's clothing does fit better so I've swapped the Shibajuku's body onto a petite fashionista I've got the petite fashionista's head on the Shibajuku's body and um, the head is a little low down on the neck but it's not it's not massively so it is a little bit but that's because the Shibajuku fixing is a ball and the fashionistas have the peg and rotation in their neck but the articulation in it is really good she's articulated at the wrist the elbow the shoulder she's and she's articulated at the knee and the ankle and I've also found that the petite shoes fit on the Shibajuku girls really well the clothing the petite clothing fits really well too so and the cut but the color match is not perfect it's I mean I don't think you're ever going to get it perfect because Shibajiku colouring is is a little off compared to the Barbie colouring but I I think she's all right she's all right I'm, I'm gonna leave her on that for a few days and see how I feel and I may just pop the Shibajiku back on her own body but yeah I, I think she's all right I'll see how I feel and how she works in pictures and things so yeah that was my haul and dolly updates for you today i hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching bye for now